bookworms. We have managed to get our hot little hands on the 2022 Goodreads book of the year, I guess that's what you call it, best fiction book. Boy, oh boy, was this book something. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Bookworms, welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club. Thank you for joining us. In this episode, as I said, we are discussing the book that was nominated as the best book in the 2022 Goodreads Book Awards. It is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, a novel by Gabrielle Zavine. So Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is a book about, how would you put it, life per se. It's about mainly three people, Sam, Max, and Sadie, who come together all as friends to create video games. The story itself covers their journey from a young age to college or university to them creating a blockbuster video game, creating their video game company, and then carries on to what they end up doing after and beyond their time as video game creators and how they tackle life outside of the company that they have created creating video games. It's literally a story cap- capturing different times of the life that they are enjoying, that of the three characters, Sam, Sadie and Marx or Max Marx M A R X Marx. So, I have just completed Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabriel uh, Zeven, and this is my review of the book. I guess let's go. So, as I said in the intro, the book is about life. It's broken into ten parts. It covers the journey of all three of them. Growing up, going to college, working together, and then them creating their own families. It's a wonderfully written book, and I can see why it appealed to a lot of people in the sense of it flowed easy, the writing was good, the character development was engaging, the character development between characters was uh, captivating as well. Like, Overall, it was a really nice written story, but it also has the emotion behind it in relation to this is a story about a journey of life for these three individuals. However, with that being said, I found the story to just drag. (laughs) Like, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the book, I enjoyed the writing, But the story was, like, it dragged and dragged and dragged. Yes, it did have some eventful events that took place in the story. But the more I read, the more I was just like, okay, so it would be like literally me writing a novel of my life. Who wants to read that? Like, that's what it came across. Like, don't get me wrong. I get the the hype in relation to the character developments where they create a video game and the video game is the biggest video game in the world, be it, say, Call of Duty, Fortnite, like, just something out there where everybody's playing and everybody knows who made this game. I get it. It's just the story just felt so boring to me. I will say this, though. I was really, 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 really impressed. Like, I I can't say really too much because no matter how many reallys I put in there, it can't dictate what I, how much I really enjoyed Chapter 7 or Part 7 of this book. Part 7, it's called The NPC. Holy shit, this part right here was well worth the wait to get to to read because of this part, part seven, was done so beautifully. And I was left after 
reading part seven going, holy crap, that was amazing. The way in which they explained, expressed, articulated what was going on in part seven. Now, I won't tell you what happens in part seven. You have to go out and read it. But all I will say is, for the rest of the story, part one to six, huh? Part eight, nine, and ten, huh? Part seven, ooh, that was a great, great part. And it was really, really, really well done. As I said before also, I get the hype with the book. I get it. I don't know if this book just wasn't for me. But, again, I just felt this book... Like, I get why it was voted the best book. But if this is the best book, I've read better books than what this book is that came out last year. Like, hot oh, damn, like... I don't know. It's like, I'm bewildered that this is the best book. Like, it's a good book, greatly written, but I wouldn't say this is the best book. But that's just my opinion. Maybe I didn't resonate with the story as much as other people did. But yeah, as I said, found the story a bit boring. Chapter 7 was a highlight for me, the NPC. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those books where... I'm like, okay, cool, I've read it, let's move on to the next one. So the question you're probably asking yourself, and you may know the answer to this already, will Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zeven be going onto my bookshelf? The answer is no. I borrowed it from the library. I was on a wait list for it. I'm glad I got it in my hot little hands to read. I'm glad I read it. Would I say it's the best book for last year? Hell no. Would I go out and reread it? No. Would I recommend somebody reading it? Yeah, give it a whirl. And maybe you'll come to you. If you like books that just explain life journeys, and maybe in your wheelhouse to view if you haven't read it, I would say, let me know if you do read it, if you agree with what I said about Chapter 7. Chapter 7, the NPC was just beautifully written. Just, yeah, like chef's kiss to the subject matter of that chapter but unfortunately tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow you have not made my bookshelf so as a customs here at the weekend readers book club as one book closes another book has to open and it is now time to find out what the next read is and bookworms we can confirm that the next read for the weekend readers book club is the confession by john grisham Yes, this book has been on my bookshelf to read for quite a while. Going back to the GOAT, John Grisham. Best book ever I've read, Runaway Jury. I have high hopes for this book. I hopefully will enjoy it. But The Confession by John Grisham, you are the next read. So Bookworms, that was my discussion and review of Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zavine. As I said, nominated for the best book at the Good reads book awards for last year would i rate it that highly no it was an enjoyable read it was okay enjoyed one chapter extremely well out of 10 yeah it, it probably just wasn't for me but with that being said feel free to let us know if you've read this book or if you're going to read it or give any feedback about the book you want to you can do so via our social media platforms yes we are on uh goodreads and also Instagram under the name Weekend Readers Book Club and also on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts from under the name The Weekend Readers. Until next time, thank you again for joining us and bookworms. Happy reading!